Sorry, I was analyzing my voice there when I got a little lost because I uh, my voice was gone over the weekend. I have I I mean I, I, I sort of there's no reason for me to do this job. I don't know why I have this job. I don't. I have vocal cords that go at the drop of a hat, uh, and so. Uh, <clears throat> Are there any health problems you have yet to acquire? I don't have ALS. That I know of. Yet. That I know mm-hmm. of. I don't have ALS. That's good. God. Yeah. There you go. Um, all right. So, and I really need my voice today because, I mean, Fonnie Willis. Oh, Fonnie. Now, in case you don't remember, Fonnie Willis is the prosecutor. She is the uh, uh, the DA that is making this case about Donald Trump. Uh, you know, trying to steal the election, yada, yada, yada. Well, uh, there's a little problem there because somebody found out that she was paying one of the expert witnesses and investigators an awful lot of money. Um, He was making like, I think almost twice as much, right? As some of the other experts. Yeah, Yeah. some of the other Mm -hmm. people. So uh, people started looking into that. And then the rumor came to this investigator that, they were having an affair and they were going on lavish trips together. And so they wondered, wow, um, hmm, is, I mean, is something going on here that, uh, you know, might lack some professionalism? Uh, yes. And then uh, it, it, there, there became this little squabble of when did you hire him? Did you hire him before or after this case? What, 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 what is it? There was also a divorce going on, uh, and he was getting a divorce, this prosecutor. He was getting a divorce, and it came up in the divorce trial that those two were having an affair. And he said, no, I've never had an affair in my marriage. Okay, well, that wasn't true, but he got on the stand and he said, well, it depends on, I'm not, kidding, I'm not making this up, depends on how you define marriage. Uh, in my head, we were divorced for a long time. Okay, not usually the way we do that, but okay. Uh, let's redefine some more things about marriage. Uh, so the problem is uh, they swore under oath several times that they didn't have a relationship at all prior to 20... 20- uh, the well again. This was a big part of the testimony. Right, do I you know. mean romantic relationship? Yes, or I do. do. You I mean relationship I mean as if up. they had met each other. Do we have any porn music? <laughs> we, you know, that kind of a relationship. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, they. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I could. Yeah, this. Yeah. You could Ding see this dong. Guy. Yeah. Pizza delivery. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So they had a uh, they admitted to the relationship after he was hired and i believe he was hired in november of 2021 okay. so they i think said the relationship started in early 2022 right and so after he was hired yeah after he was hired and so mm-hmm. the of course you know they went to work to say wait a minute <laughs> this this that seems like it started way before that including right. a, a testimony from someone yeah. one of her best friends at the time and then somebody else that you know, said uh, attorney to client privilege. Right. Yes. So that's like, you know, fifth. Okay. We know what you're saying. Sit down. Right. They, one of his, one of his attorneys was also asked about this and obviously they wouldn't have asked him about this if they didn't know what the answer was, but he couldn't, he, he, he was able to get out of it with attorney Correct. client privilege. However, uh, the other witness said they had been together since at least 2019. Now, of course, this is important because it, 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 the accusation here is that she's trying to extend this and do as much as they can to get as much money into this guy's pocket as possible. In other words, her goal is not justice here. Her goal is to enrich this guy who is in turn enriching her, right? Now, if their answer was immediately, look, this guy's the best in the business. Yeah, we had an affair. It's got nothing to do with this. Uh, we've been dating since 2019, but it doesn't matter because we, I, you know, I knew he did great work and that's why I brought him on this case. It's got nothing to do with this case. They probably skate scot-free on this, but because of his divorce, they don't go down that road. They decide instead to deny everything, and that leads to some problems, <clears throat> some little problems. Mm-hmm. Now, so it was really, 
he said, she said kind of stuff. Uh, and you didn't have any evidence, except it seemed pretty obvious. Nobody, nobody in their right mind could buy their excuses. But if you right. want to have no shadow of a doubt, you don't really have any evidence. Right. right? Remember their excuses, too, uh, that yeah. they went on multiple expensive trips Mm -hmm. That he paid for on his business credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. His business credit card. Mm -hmm. He paid for those trips. Then their, their story is after they returned, she took some amount, thousands and thousands of dollars each time out of her glob of cash she keeps at her house that there are no records of. And she takes the thousands of dollars and gives it to him to pay back for her part of the travel, remember they're dating at this point, for her part of the travel, and then he takes it and then never deposits it into his bank account. Right. He just, I guess, what keeps it in his glove box and pays for gas every time in cash. Well, I mean, it's his business credit card. He went into the business and said, here, I owe you this, and just gave him lots of cash. Uh, well, there would be, of course, a record of that, so that's well, not what happened. Well, um, unless and, the accountant at the business doesn't. <laughs> no. We, we don't count cash coming in. Well, we just put it in, well, this drawer, you know, right here. Oh, yeah. Well, again, <laughs> like if you had, if it, if he paid in cash for the trips, this mm -hmm. might be kind of believable. I, I even though no. it's never happened before. No. This interaction between two people in a romantic relationship has never occurred. Okay. So now, uh, apparently, there's a, something called phone records. What? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, well, it means they can track your location by triangulating your location. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, uh, it's kind of interesting <clears throat> that the phone records show that they had a lot of late night, well, phone calls uh, that kind of came in and, uh, and ding dong, pizza, you know. He was oh, playing no. the pizza delivery. He man, was. I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, sometimes pizzas do get delivered uh, late at yes, night. Yes, yes. And then other times people look under the box. So they, hmm? So over 2,000 voice calls and just uh, under 12,000 interactions were exchanged. Wait, it's 12,000 text messages. Yes, 12,000. 2,000 Voice calls. Can you think of anything more annoying than receiving 2,000 voice calls from anyone, let alone no. Fonnie Willis? Good I God. Don't, I wonder I'm if Tanya to, and I have This guy had, deserves a hazard pay. I wonder if Tanya and I have had 2,000 calls back to each other and 12,000 text messages. I mean, there, there's no way. What was the period again? I mean, it's a it year. It was January to it's November. A Not a year. 10 months. Okay, 10 months. I mean, I talked to my wife on the phone, I'm trying to think, uh, let's go crazy and say twice a day. I mean, I live with her, right? right. Like I, so I see her at home in the morning and I right. see with her, see her at night. And then during the day, there's a couple of times she might call or text. I mean, you could probably, I could probably count up a month of our texts to see how many were exchanged, but there's no way it's a thousand. So I don't carry a phone, but I have an iPad that I take text. And uh, mm -hmm. Tanya probably texts me two, three times a day, maximum. Right. Maximum. That sounds about right. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, again, I don't know. Interactions, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, mm -hmm. honestly, like the text messages, some people text a lot. Some people write small text messages. Some people give you the emoji reactions to them. I don't know what counts in there. So 12,000, maybe that's understandable. Uh -huh, uh -huh, 2,000 uh -huh. voice calls in 10 months? I, don't, you know, I, have, I bet I have not made 2,000 tech uh, phone calls in 10 months if you combine every call I've made. Now, even if, even if the 12,000 text messages were just doing the salsa dancer emoji, which I don't... Is there a salsa dancer emoji? Yeah, you've never seen that? I have, I, I have no idea what it's I don't know for, that I've right? ever used an emoji, so that's... that's yeah, so other. there's the salsa <laughs> dancer, and I don't know mm -hmm. what the salsa dancer is supposed to represent. I have no idea. And so maybe that's the code salsa dancer. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, hey, let's hook up salsa dancer. Right. They have like their own if code language. If there's 12,000 salsa dancers, we know something's going on because, I mean, what does that mean? 
That's code. I would not be. Would you be surprised if we saw a lot of eggplants and peaches? <laughs> okay, uh, I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what those 8, mean. Eight thousand of the twelve thousand were eggplants or peaches. <laughs> I don't. I Why? don't. Yeah, no. I guarantee they'd be like, Souls and answer. look, have you ever had this uh, this uh, authentic uh, native dish that has both peaches <laughs> and eggplants? We kept making it. That's all. That's it. They they will go to any, any. length to lie about this at this oh, point. They are done. Well, here's what she said. Uh, okay, so 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 just so you know, so you know, they have him how many times? Forty five times. 35 occasions. Yes, at least. At her. At, and that was a conservative estimate. 35 was a conservative estimate about mm-hmm. how many times she, okay. she was there. He was so there. Uh, they have things like this. Uh, September 11th through the 12th, deeper analysis. We don't need to say that. Uh, <laughs> described the attached affidavit from the cell phone tracking. He left the Dural area approximately 10, 15 p.m., traveling directly to and arriving within the geofence located on the Dogwood address to approximately 1045. He left the Dogwood address approximately 328 a.m. What happens between 1045 and 328 a.m.? I mean, I'm just... Mm-hmm. Okay, then, then he leaves there and he texts Fanny at 420. Okay. <laughs> Can you uh, please call her for the purposes funny, of this? Can funny. you please refer to her as Fonny? I'm having a hard time with your peaches remark. <laughs> uh, following a call from Fonny Willis at 11.32 p.m., which continues for 40 minutes, leaving the towers located near his residence in East Cobb at approximately 12.05 a.m., ongoing call at uh, 12.38. So he, t- he leaves his house to drive to her house and is on the phone with her the whole way, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then he goes... Just think about this. Then he goes to this area, which includes her home, a very small area between two uh, cell phone towers. Um, and how long does he stay there till? Uh, until 4.45 a.m. 4.45 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Is it really 4.45? I didn't really realize it was that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he never spent the night, as no, they both didn't. testified. He no, no, never, never spent, spent the, the night. night. Now, I, how would you justify this? That you know, You know what makes sense now? Why did the prosecution when they were when they were talking to him and her why did they say was he ever at where you laid your head yeah that was the term now it was her she used that terminology first in the testimony Oh, she did yeah because she kept he kept they were trying to say okay what about at this condo she's like i don't even know i just kept the cash wherever i laid my head now of course, that's always what you do, right? When you, if you, let's say you go to a motel, you bring your $50,000 in cash with you. It just stays with you wherever you go. I know a lot of people operate this way that are in the mob. But other than that, I don't know of any, so, anyone who does. So here's what she has said since Friday, since his story broke. Quote, the records do nothing more than demonstrate that a special prosecutor Wade's telephone was located somewhere. <laughs> Not him. Maybe right. it was just it's his just phone. his phone. His phone could have been flying. What if it has wings and it's yeah. flying around at night? We have no idea. He is, he's a guy, he loves to share. He's Yeah, he's he, a big sharer. I don't, I'm not going to use my phone between 10 o'clock at night and let's say 4.55 in the morning. I've got unlimited minutes. Yeah, No one's ahead. using them. Yeah. Why don't you use, use them. my phone? Use them. Mm-hmm. So records do nothing more than demonstrate that Special Prosecutor Wade's telephone was located somewhere within a densely populated multiple-mile radius where various <laughs> residents, restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and other businesses are located. How many of those are open at 4.20 a.m.? Well, I'd also like to say, uh, how, many, how many cases have you tried uh, on cell phone location because this is so bad. What what she is what she is now arguing against is what's called cell hawk, and law enforcement and uh, attorneys say this is the system to triangulate phones. So everybody who is like you know Googled in, how do I get rid of an hundred and twenty pound sack of meat and bones, <laughs> and then you know. The girlfriend is missing. They always like, uh, yeah, but we have you going to the Home Depot, back to your house, then to the grave site. I'm sorry, to that park you were visiting. You know what I mean? They. This is the same thing. So if she discredits this, 
how many cases, I mean, because if I were a, a defense attorney and my client had gone to jail with this as the linchpin and she discredits, I'd be like, she herself. So even the district said, attorney mm-hmm. says this isn't good. It's really bad. And do you think she's the type of person who would risk multiple murder investigations uh, over just to protect herself, Glenn? Yes. Does she yes. seem yes. like that yes. kind of person? Yes, I wow. do. I, yes, That's I do. Surprising. And so does he. Mm-hmm.